the part ESO on faculty at the MIT Media Lab. I run the Responsive Environments Group. And we look at uh, the way people connect to big data in many ways, right? Where the, it touches people and where it comes from. We look at both hands. So, uh, you know, we try to connect people to this electronic nervous system that's covering the planet with sensors everywhere. It's a track on application of, of embedded sensing. And uh, we seeded it with a sensor that we developed at the Media Lab for monitoring different kinds of, mainly outdoor environments, so the, the sensor node is versatile enough that we can adapt it to pretty much anything we, we want to measure. My, my group especially teaches hardcore technology across the whole Media Lab. And we teach it to artists, we teach it to architects, we teach it to people that are experts in all kinds of different areas. A place like Dubai Abu Dhabi, already you've got a fairly developed infrastructure there. Uh, but there's a huge interest in smart buildings, smart environments. Uh, and if you look at the next wave of computing, I've spoken with many people throughout the couple of days I've been here, and people pretty much get it. The information from these sensors is going to be divorced from the device, divorced from the application. It's going to flow up to the cloud, more or less, for lack of a better word. Condense into context and project back down to action where you are. So it would be a proactive interface that is more or less everywhere, from pervasive displays to you know, lighting environments that help illuminate the environment. We're at a point, though, that you know, the, the assets for it are, are already there. They're, they're somewhat fluid. You just have to access, have access to that information and then project it down in the right way, and you can change the way it manifests. So yeah, it's a great time to be nimble, to be agile, to have an idea, and get something out there fast, but then adapt it as the market changes. So the pieces are here. There's a can-do positive attitude everywhere. Uh, there's a certain energy in the air, there's a vibrance, and you know, the place, is, Dubai's famous for change. And it's change that, that I think is going in a really interesting way. So, uh, you know, to be part of it, to see it from the inside the last few days, it's just been really, really exciting.